Hi! Oh my god, I did it. I pushed the button and I am live on Facebook for the first time ever. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Linda. I'm guessing you do know me because you're friends with me on Facebook. Um, I'm also known as the Creative Genie. Um, this is my first ever Facebook Live, in case I didn't mention that, so please be kind to me. Though I know you will, because my Facebook is full of beautiful, gorgeous people like you. Uh, thank you for watching and joining me and supporting me in my first ever Facebook Live. Um, it means a lot to me, so give me some thumbs and hearts and say hello if you're watching me. I can see there are a few of you watching me already. Oh my god, this is massive for me. So, I nearly didn't push the button. I nearly didn't go live. Hi, Katie. Thank you so much. More hearts. Keep them coming. I love those hearts. So, um, oh my God, I can't believe I'm actually doing it because I've thought about doing Facebook live videos for a long time. Oh, it's lovely to see you too, Katie. Thank you so much for watching me. Um, I, I've wanted to do this for a long time, um, but I haven't. Um, there's lots of reasons why I haven't. Firstly, the first reason. It's easier to stay in my comfort zone, you know? Give me some hearts, give me some thumbs if, if you feel that too. Do you ever just stay in your comfort zone because it's the easier thing to do? I know you do. I know there are times when you do, because even when we know that we need to stretch our comfort zones, sometimes we just take the easier option. And that's what it's been like for me with this live thing. I've been like, go on, Linda, go live. Talk about the stuff you want to talk about. Hi, Shana. Thank you for joining me on my first ever Facebook Live. Um, I really appreciate the support because as I was just saying, this is something I've put off doing for a long time and I'm going to talk about why. Um, so it's great to have some friends here with me watching me and, and giving me the love. Hi, Becky. Oh, it's so lovely to see you. Thank you for being here. Ah, so let me go through the reasons why it's taken me so long to go live and thank you for all the hearts thank you for all the love you're really actually helping me um i nearly didn't push the live button i've put off doing this for so long as i was just saying reason one why i've put off doing it for so long is because it's so much easier to stay in my comfort zone my comfort zone is being behind the screen uh typing out um, things i'm inspired to share the messages the you know, that those, the, the, my beliefs and my views on life, it's easy to type them out and click post, you know, no one can see me then. <laughs> I can compose my, uh, compose my responses, I can take time to think about it. Being on screen is a whole different beast, it's a new thing for me, um, and I've put off doing it for that reason, so I can stay in my comfort zone, which has always been behind the scenes, making beautiful things. I have no doubt about my gifts and my talents and sharing them with the world, but I've always done it in a way that is supporting others, which I love. You know, I've always been behind the scenes, drawing pretty pictures, writing wonderful things and sharing them. But something kept urging me, you know, you put yourself out there. It's time. It's time to it's time to go live. So I press the button and I'm live and I am pushing myself out of my comfort zone. The second reason why I have put off doing this and the second thing that I think can really hold us back is worrying what people think of you, you know? I I do worry what people think of me, and I think anyone who says they don't, um, well, either they're a master of everything or or they might be feeling it a little bit, because I'm sure we all do at times. It crosses our minds, you know, oh, but if I put myself out there and share my truth, I might be seen as different, I might be seen as out there, I might be called a hippie or a weirdo, and, I, you know, and mostly I'm okay with that. I, I say I'm okay with that, and, and I am, but it's different when you're on screen and you're really just like there and I'm here and people are watching me. It's like, well, what are people going to think? What are people going to think of me? But actually at the end of the day, it's my, not my job to worry about what other people think. It's my job to share what I'm inspired to share and to just be me. And that's, that's cool. You know, um, it, it's not my job to worry about what other people think. And anyway, my Facebook and my world is full of beautiful, wonderful, inspiring people and, why should I worry about that? Why should any of us worry about that? You know, we can all worry what other people think, but it's just holding us back. It's holding us back from the lives that we can truly live and from the difference that we can make in the world and the gifts that we have to share with the world. So I said no to that. I said no to worrying about what people think to me, um, just as I said no to worrying about staying in my comfort zone and putting myself out there now. So that's number one. 
I didn't do this for so long because it was easier to stay in my comfort zone. Number two, I didn't go live for so long for worrying what people would think of me. But hey, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm me and I'm out here and think what you will. I'm, I'm not changing. I am who I am. Number three, comparing myself to others. You know, I've watched so many live videos. I love watching them. There are people I, I really admire and I get so much from their messages. And you have that thought in the back of your head when you want to go live, like, oh, but they're so amazing. And they have all these amazing messages to share. And, and, um, and I'm not as good as them and I don't have as much to share. But that's just this nagging voice in, in your head. And it's not it's not true when you just get out there and share your truth. You are not anyone else. You are yourself. We are all unique. We are all unique and we're all perfect. And we can't compare ourselves to anyone else. Oh, I, I, thank you all for joining me so much. Keep giving me some hearts and keep giving me some likes because this is so massive for me. I can't even tell you how long I've wanted to do this. Um, back since like the Periscope days, I've wanted to go live. I've wanted to talk on screen thank you for the hearts thank you for joining me thank you for being here with me and supporting me in doing this because it's massive for me um i'm, I'm sharing with you the reasons why i have held back from doing this for so long number one so much easier to stay in my comfort zone behind the screen making beautiful things supporting other people um and it's just it was just easier not to do it number two worrying what other people think of me um again just easier not to do it number three comparing myself to others not good enough it's all bullshit you know i'm good enough you're good enough follow your heart and do what it calls you to do they're the three things that have held me back from doing this. And even when I was about to go live, I nearly didn't push the little live button. I sat here and I was shaking and I was going red and I was like, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm too scared. And I nearly didn't do it. And then I just like something must have overtaken my body and just pushed my finger onto the little live button because here I am and I'm still talking and I'm still here and I didn't die. And you're all with me watching me and I love you. And thank you for supporting me. Shana says, thinking about doing one too, nervous, don't don't know what to talk about. Well, the minute I decided, Shana, to, to do this live video, it was exactly the same thing. Like I have so much to say all the time, as you know, if you read my posts, so much to share, so much that I believe in, so much magic that I want to share with the world. But the minute I decided to do a live video, I was like, oh, but what will I talk about? I have nothing to say. And then I realized that if I just commit to it, I and I just put the intention out there that I will know. I just I just knew that I would know what to say. And actually, I took Eli to nursery this morning. And um, I wasn't going to do this today. I was just walking back from the nursery. And walking is always my time of getting, getting loads of inspiration. I was walking back. And, um, and it just struck me. Just talk, talk about that. Talk about why you haven't done it for so long. Talk about why you've held back. Talk about the fear and ultimately that's what it is all those three things i said easier to stay in your comfort zone worrying what people think of you comparing yourself to others they all come down to the same thing it's just fear and fear has been a huge component in my life and in holding me back in the past you know i used to suffer really badly from anxiety um i've talked about it before in posts um Oh God, so there were days when um, when Ollie's little, so we're going back about maybe nine years or so, 10 years even, where anxiety would take me over so much that I couldn't even leave the house. Like I, I was controlled by this fear. Um, does, has anyone else had fear like that? You know, where it just takes you over. It's not even like an actual fear of a particular thing. It would manifest as different things. I would walk down the street and think I'm going to faint because I was shaky. And it was like... In the end, this fear just me to realize that I'm not living the life I wanted to live. There was more for me to do, more for me to give. It's not about this routine day in, day out, living this kind of mundane way. There was magic inside me that wanted to come out and I wasn't doing it. And as I was holding back from tuning into that magic and sharing it with the world, my fear grew bigger and bigger. Tanya, T 
Tanya, I feel you. My sister Tanya's here. Thank you so much for watching me. And yes, it's not your job to worry what people think of you. And it's not my job to worry what people think of me. And that was the second in my reasons why I've held back from doing this. Um, worrying what people will think of me. Um, I just, I let it go. I let it go. The same as number one, which was easier to stay in my comfort zone. No, I'm out there. I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. And, and number three, comparing myself to others. No one else is me. And no one else is you. And we are all unique and perfect. And we all have magic to share with the world. And if we don't, we're doing ourselves and the world an injustice. You know, we need to follow our hearts. I'm not saying that going on Facebook Live is right for everyone. But there's some area in your life where maybe you've held yourself back because of worrying what people will think and because it's easier to stay in your comfort zone and because you're comparing yourself to others and you're finding yourself falling short. It's all bullshit. It's just fear. It's just fear. And fear, at the end of the day, is an excuse. And, oh, Sean, yes, I understand. I really do understand that fear about um, not going out and, and being stuck in the, in the house and because of anxiety. Because I've been there. You know, I've been there. There was this amazing book which really helped me, and I would recommend it to all of you. And it's called Excuses Be Gone. Daryl, hi. Thank you so much for watching me. I love you. It's so lovely to see you. Um, this book by Wayne Dyer. Oh my God, that man. I love him so much. Dr. Wayne Dyer. I'm sure you know of him. If you don't, go and get every book he's ever read and watch, watch him on YouTube. He's amazing. And he wrote a book called Excuses Be Gone, and it was magic. It was like a magic key for me. Um, read it, read it, read it. If fear or anxiety has in any way held you back, Katie, terrible anxiety and agoraphobia, never thought I'd get well, but healing happens. Yes, it, it totally does. And you are amazing. You're a shining star. So I know you must have taken courage to, to move past those fears. And I really believe that the fears are bigger when you have so much to share with the world and so much to shine, the fear gets bigger the more you hold yourself back. And it's so important to take courage. Why? Because everything you ever dreamed of is on the other side of that fear. You have magic inside you. you we all have magic inside us to share with the world. It's unique magic for each of us, but it's there. And when we tune in to that magic, ah, oh, it's like, it's the most amazing thing. Your whole world changes. Your whole world lights up. It's like, it's like you've been let in on this secret that no one else knew about. The more you tune into that magic and let go of those bullshit excuses and fears, that's what they are. Fear is just excuses. I'm not saying it's not real. I held myself back for so long because of those fears and because I thought they were happening to me. They were a thing that I couldn't control. And then I learned, no, they're excuses. And when I tune into my power and my magic, it's like my power goes like this. My magic goes like this. My light shines so bright that the fear is like a shadow that just diminishes. It just disappears. It's like the Tune into that magic inside. You have the power inside you. Tune into that. Tune into that magic. Read Excuses Be Gone. I can't recommend it enough, and I will put the link in the comments. Dr. Wayne Dyer says it's so much better than I ever could. It's, it's an excuse, the fear that's holding you back, and anything else that you come up with to say why you're not living the the life your heart wants or not sharing your message with the world or not doing that that you're really called to do because I know there's something there that you're really called to do something you want to create something you're called to share the world give, give me some hearts and likes and thumbs and whatever you call it please if if there's something there that you really want to share with the world you've had because of fear because of comparing yourself to others, because of worrying what people think, because it's easier to stay in your comfort zone, because you are here to shine. You have magic inside you to share with the world in your own unique way. And it's time. It's time to, to believe in yourself and to to just say, you see, God. I'm back for so long. I'm going like, but it seems ridiculous that I'm here talking to you because it's not that big a deal. That's the thing with fear. Like we build this thing up in our head to be a monster. The little thing. We build it up. 
Oh, Linda, you're an actual speaker and teacher, and you have so much to share. Thank you so much, Daryl. I love you so much. And thank you for being here supporting me, like both of you. And thank you, Tanya, my sister. I love you so much. And I need to see you soon. Um, we're all here to shine, you know, and and, we, and I think the fact that I've held back from doing Facebook Live for so long because of these fears and because of these silly excuses, it's just a good example. It's just a good example because I shook when I was going to press the live button. I was literally shaking. I was like, I can't do this. It's like I was going to die. I was going to have a heart attack. Um, and I just pressed it anyway because something inside me was calling me to do it like it's your time linda to step up and 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 take that next step you know i'm not telling you anything groundbreaking here i know you know this anyway i know you've read it before i know you've heard it before i know you know it inside you that fear holds you back and that you need to take courage and step out of your comfort zone because everything wonderful is is at the edges of your comfort zone and you need to keep expanding it this isn't anything new or groundbreaking but I knew this and yet I was still letting fear hold me back. It's not like you learn it once and then, aha, I get it. It's it's magic. And now I've got it. My life's all sorted out. No, it doesn't work like that. Like we, it's like cycles. Like we expand our comfort zone a bit and we're going along happily and everything's wonderful and, and amazing opportunities and things come in because we're tuned into that magic inside us. And then you bump up against the comfort zone again because you've reached it again. And it's like this inspiration is calling you to do more to step up more to to take that next step to grow more to become more of what you really are but you've bumped up against your comfort zone so you, you find reasons and excuses to not take that next step and there you are again it's like you think you've gone backwards you're like why why is this happening why am i scared again why am i doing this it's it's just the process. It's the process of you, the full reference of who you really are. And all you need to do is tune back into that magic inside you because it is there. But I know when you bump up against that comfort zone, it's like so much bullshit starts going on inside your head. Maggie says, we all have such limiting conversations inside our head. You're so right. That's it. It's all inside our head. The fear, the excuses. They're created by our minds. It's like the small mind trying to keep us small and keep us safe. But really, we're here for so much more than that. We're here for more than the mundane. We're here for the magic. We're here to shine. We're here to share our magic with the world. And and we need to keep pushing those comfort zones because everything you ever dreamed of and everything your heart really wants and your spirit and your soul really wants is on the other side of that comfort zone. Don't think that that's a wall that you've reached and that that's it. Don't think you have to stop there. Keep pushing that comfort zone. That's what we're here to do. Keep pushing it. And, and when you tune into the magic inside you, you're helped. You know, suddenly the whole universe, your whole world becomes like this magic flow and dance and people and books and guides are sent to help you seen and unseen and here I go putting myself out there and being flaming crazy and everyone will think I'm an absolute nutter and I don't care because that was number two of my reasons worrying what people will think of me I actually don't care because I am what I am and yes I believe that there are unseen guides and helpers and angels who also do the work when we tune in to that magic and ask for that help you know, people will come along in human form, books will come along, you'll see a quote and you're like, oh, that's just what I needed because you're tuned into that magic. And it's like you're in that flow, that magical flow that is the current that that that's dancing beneath the surface of everything. When you tune into that, we can all tune into that magic at any point. You just have to you just have to breathe into it. Do something that makes you feel magical. I mean, think of a moment. Can you think of a moment when you felt that magic? I mean, for me, drawing takes me there. I know it. all you arty people out there. Um, drawing and painting, it's a great way to access that magic inside you. Writing. But I think back even as a child, 
I, that magic was always there, you know. Watching a sunset, a thunderstorm, you get those tingles inside you and it's like, mm, there's something more, there's something deeper, there's something bigger. That's the magic and you can tune into it. And you, when you tune into it, it's like it grows and it grows. The more you notice it, it grows. And then you notice how that magic inside you is being reflected outside of you in these fucking amazing coincidences and and synchronicities and the more you notice them the more they happen because you're noticing them and because you're tuning more into that flow so you just have to when you're stuck in this cycle of fears and excuses and negative thoughts taking that courageous step that you've held back from taking will will be like diving into the magic because courage does that Courage takes you right into the magic. Shana, I found CBT really helped to turn my negative inner monologue into positive thoughts. I don't think I'd be as far ahead as I am now if I hadn't done that. Yeah, absolutely. And it was that awareness of the negative inner monologue, rather than letting it rule you and continue to rule you, it's like you, the observer, took control of that and started turning it around to the positive thoughts. I'm so happy to say you really like yourself because liking yourself is the first step. You've got to like yourself. You've got to love yourself. You are amazing and unique and you are here to shine. Um, you are here to share your gifts with the world. We all are in our own unique ways. So oh, thank you all so much for being here and watching me. This has been, this is, is my first Facebook Live. And I've held back from doing it for so long because because of fear, essentially, because it's easier to stay in my comfort zone because of worrying what people will think of me and because of comparing myself to all those other amazing people who are out there doing Facebook lives. It's all just fear and fear is just bullshit. It's just excuses in my mind. It's just that self-talk that we all have that holds you back. And I sat here and nearly didn't push the live button. I've wanted to do it for so long. And I have to say thank you to my gorgeous friend and coach Natasha because I couldn't have done it without her. Like seriously, fear has played such a huge part in my life in holding me back. And this is really symbolic this is just a facebook live it's just me doing a video it's not a big deal it's not like you know it's 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 not like i'm going to combust or something but it felt like a big deal because fear can do that to you and and fear can really fear feels really real but taking courage and doing that which you're scared of when you know that you need to it's like a magic switch it's like it it dives you into utter a whole of possibility and unlimited potential where anything is possible and your life can be just magical it really can everything you've dreamed of is on the other side of your fear is in the expansion of your comfort zone everything you ever dreamed of Thank you so much for, for being here with me. And thank you, Maggie, for saying, well done, Linda. Looking forward to hearing more from you. You know what? And I think you will, because it's like you build something up in your head and you think, I can't do that. I can't do that. And then you do it and you're like, it wasn't that big a deal. Like, I love this. I could talk all day. Um, as those of you who know me know, I can. So I don't know why I've been so scared of doing this. It's just fear. It's just fear. It's not real. It's an excuse. So before I go, once again, I just want to thank you for being here with me because it means so much. Um, this was scary for me. It's no longer scary for me because I'm actually loving it. Um, but I just want to ask you, where in your life are you holding yourself back because of fear or excuses when you know you're actually being called for? into more of who you are and more of what's possible for you because you have magic inside you I know you do and when you tune into it it changes everything you will be hearing more from me and thank you for being here and Natasha I'm so proud and happy for you and everyone who's been waiting for you and your message and your amazing energy thank you so much darling thank you all for being here um oh thank you for all the hearts and all the thumbs and all this whole new world of Facebook life I live life life it's all the same thing I love it and I love you and I wish you an amazing day thank you go be courageous